craving something tasty? We've got just the thing. Welcome to Culinary Recipe Creations, your go-to spot for quick, easy, and mouth-watering recipes from around the globe. Discover dishes that are elegant yet affordable. Perfect for any occasion. Ready to whip up something amazing? Subscribe now and join our foodie family. Let's get cooking. Ah, creme brulee. This dessert is simply divine. Imagine cracking into a crisp, caramelized sugar crust. Beneath awaits a velvety, smooth custard. It's a classic for a reason. With this recipe, you'll create magic in your own kitchen. Let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need just a few simple ingredients. Heavy cream, two cups. This creates the rich base of our custard. Granulated sugar, half a cup, plus extra for the topping. We'll use some for the custard and more for that beautiful caramelized crust. Egg yolks, four large. Egg yolks provide the richness and silky texture creme brulee is known for. Vanilla extract, one teaspoon. A touch of vanilla enhances the flavor. A pinch of salt. Salt elevates the other flavors. Before we begin, gather these tools. A saucepan for heating the cream and infusing it with flavor. Mixing bowls, one for whisking the egg yolks and sugar, another for the final custard mixture. A whisk to ensure a smooth, lump-free custard. A fine mesh sieve for straining the custard, resulting in a silky texture. Ramekins, these small, oven-safe dishes are perfect for individual servings. A baking dish, a larger dish to hold the ramekins during baking. And finally, a kitchen torch, the key to that irresistible caramelized crust. Now, let's create this culinary masterpiece. Today, we're going to make a classic dessert that is both elegant and delicious. Follow along closely, and you'll be able to impress your friends and family with your culinary skills. First, preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius. This step is crucial to ensure that your custards bake evenly. In a saucepan, gently heat the heavy cream over medium heat. Don't let it boil. The goal is to warm the cream just enough to infuse it with a rich, velvety texture. Just heat it until it's steaming gently. You should see small bubbles forming around the edges, but no vigorous boiling. While the cream heats, whisk the egg yolks and a quarter cup of the sugar in a mixing bowl. This step is essential for creating a smooth and creamy custard base. Whisk until the mixture is pale and slightly thickened. This means the sugar has dissolved and the yolks have lightened in color, creating a beautiful, creamy texture. Once the cream is hot, slowly drizzle it into the egg yolk mixture while whisking constantly. This gradual addition helps to temper the eggs, preventing them from cooking too quickly. This process is called tempering and prevents the eggs from scrambling. It's a delicate balance, but with patience you'll achieve a perfectly smooth custard. Stir in the vanilla extract and salt. These ingredients enhance the flavor of the custard, adding depth and complexity. The aroma of vanilla will fill your kitchen. It's one of the most delightful scents, making the cooking process even more enjoyable. Strain the custard mixture through a fine mesh sieve into a clean bowl. This step is crucial for removing any lumps or bits of cooked egg, ensuring a silky smooth texture. This step removes any lumps and ensures a smooth texture. A smooth custard is key to achieving that luxurious mouthfeel we all love. Arrange your ramekins in a baking dish. Make sure they are evenly spaced to allow for even baking. Pour the custard mixture evenly into the ramekins. Fill each one to about three quarters full to allow room for expansion as they bake. Fill the baking dish with hot water until it reaches halfway up the sides of the ramekins. This water bath, or bain-marie, helps to regulate the temperature and ensures gentle, even cooking. This water bath helps the custards bake evenly and prevents cracking. It's a simple but effective technique used in many classic dessert recipes. Carefully place the baking dish in the preheated oven. Be cautious not to spill any water into the custards. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until the custards are just set but still slightly wobbly in the center. This slight wobble indicates that the custards will have a creamy, smooth texture once cooled. Once baked, remove the ramekins from the water bath and let them cool completely at room temperature. This cooling period allows the custards to set properly. Cover the cooled ramekins and refrigerate for at least two hours or preferably overnight. This chilling time enhances the flavor and texture. 
making your custards even more delicious when served. Now for the most exciting part. This is where the magic truly happens, transforming a simple dessert into a culinary masterpiece. It's time to create that beautiful crackly sugar crust that everyone loves. This is the signature touch that elevates your dessert. First, sprinkle a thin, even layer of granulated sugar over the top of each chilled custard. Make sure the sugar covers the entire surface for an even caramelization. Next, using a kitchen torch, carefully caramelize the sugar. This step requires patience and precision. Move the torch in a circular motion, holding it a few inches away from the sugar. This ensures that the sugar melts evenly and doesn't burn. The sugar will melt and turn a gorgeous amber color, creating a delightful contrast with the creamy custard beneath. If you don't have a torch, you can caramelize the sugar under the broiler. This method works well, but requires extra vigilance. However, watch very carefully to prevent burning. The broiler can be unpredictable, so keep a close eye on your dessert. Once the sugar is caramelized, let the creme brulee sit for a few minutes. This resting period is crucial for the sugar to set properly. This allows the sugar to harden into a crisp crust. The final result is a perfect balance of textures, a crunchy top layer and a smooth, creamy custard underneath. And there you have it, the art of the torched crust, a simple yet elegant touch that makes your dessert unforgettable. Congratulations, you've created a truly magnificent dessert. Serve immediately and savour the delightful contrast of the crunchy, caramelised topping and the smooth, creamy custard beneath. Even experienced cooks encounter challenges when making creme brulee. It's a delicate dessert that requires precision and care. Here are some essential tips to ensure your creme brulee turns out perfect every time. If your custard curdles during cooking, it's likely due to overheating. This can be a common issue, but is easily avoidable with the right technique. Make sure to cook the cream over low heat and temper the eggs slowly. Gradually add the hot cream to the eggs while constantly whisking to prevent them from cooking too quickly. If curdling occurs, strain the custard through a fine mesh sieve before baking. This will help remove any lumps and ensure a smooth texture. To prevent water from seeping into the ramekins during baking, which can ruin the texture of your dessert, place the baking dish on a baking sheet before adding the hot water. This creates a barrier and helps maintain the right cooking environment. Use an oven thermometer to ensure accurate oven temperature. Oven temperatures can often be misleading and an accurate reading is crucial for perfect results. For even cooking, rotate the baking dish halfway through the baking time. This ensures that the custard cooks uniformly and prevents any hot spots. Allow the caramelized sugar to cool and harden completely before serving. This step is crucial for achieving that signature crunchy top layer. For a crispier crust, use a thinner layer of sugar when torching. A thin layer caramelizes more evenly and gives a delightful crunch with every bite. Creme brulee is a versatile dessert that lends itself to endless flavor combinations. Here are some ideas to spark your creativity. Add two ounces of finely chopped dark chocolate to the hot cream mixture. Stir until melted and smooth. Add one tablespoon of instant espresso powder to the hot cream mixture for a coffee-infused delight. Add the zest of one orange or lemon to the hot cream mixture for a refreshing citrus twist. Swirl in a spoonful of fruit preserves, such as raspberry or blackberry, before chilling for a burst of fruity flavor. This recipe is a guaranteed crowd pleaser. Share your accomplishment with friends and family. For more delicious recipes and culinary inspiration, be sure to visit the Culinary Recipe Creations channel. Why are there more and more people talking about culinary recipe creations? Because experimenting in the kitchen is deliciously fun. That's why. Join us for delectable foodie tutorials that will transform your cooking game. From savory starters to decadent desserts, we've got you covered. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest mouth-watering creations. Love what you see? Drop us a like, leave a comment and share our videos with your fellow food enthusiasts. Your support helps us bring you even more scrumptious content. So sit back, relax and let us handle the cooking entertainment. Stay tuned in because it's cooking time. Welcome to Culinary Recipe Creations, your new favorite kitchen corner. Let's create something delicious together.